Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mark 5 Snipes, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Yes, sir, Bob. This is a game that I've been looking forward to playing, and I'm finally getting round to it. So, without any further ado, let's get into this shit, eh? Start game. Alright, so, we're gonna start a new game here on Kerbal Space Program, and we're gonna get straight into it. So, let's call it... Mm -hmm. Mark 5 Space Program. Awesome. And our flag, specially made Mark 5 Gaming Space Flag. Alright! Start! This is it. Welcome to my, our home base. This is where we're going to be com commissioning our first rocket. Now, I must refer to the mission index to see what the first mission we will be undertaking is. Right, let's go to the mission brief. The mission, M5, SP-01, Kerbal in Space. Mission brief. Build a rocket capable of sending the first Kerbal into space. Escape Kerbin's gravity and reach Napoapsis in space before re-entering the atmosphere. Right, that's easy enough. Alright, so, the mission's very simple today. All we have to do is get a rocket into space and have a safe return home. Sounds very easy. So let's get to work on building our first rocket. Now, I will stress, this, vi this series will not be an absolute perfect tutorial to go by. I will try and give like some information as to how you can... That guy just got run over but didn't quite count. Um, how, to, how to play. I'll give you some information on what I'm doing. I'll show you everything that I do. But I'll try to avoid as much of the boring stuff as possible. But at the same time, I want you to see that so that you don't think I'm doing stuff behind your back. Anyway, so first off, we're going to start by building our little ship to get into space. So we're going to start with the command pod Mark 1, which is a small pod because it only, only takes up one person. And the mission brief did say to get the first Kerbal into space. So let's do that right now. So this is our command pod. It's great. Not much to do with it, really. It's not going to do very much. But we will name this mission as it was specified, M5 SP01. Okay. That 5 is really small, but there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. So, right. So here's our command pod. First thing we need to do is add... Actually, the first thing I like to do is add a safe parachute to the top so that when he does re-enter, he's got something to slow down his descent and make this make to the drop back to Kerbin a little less painful, shall we say. Right, now we need to get to propulsion because we need something to get us up there. The mission's very simple. We've just got to go straight up, straight back down, which means we don't need much. Probably be able to do this in a two-stage rocket. So, we're going to get out our little decoupler here, plonk that on the end. And what that's going to do is separate the command pod so that the parachute only has to carry down the command pod and not the rest of the ship. Right. Um, next thing would probably be just to add in a fuel tank. Let's go with this nice big one here. And plonk that onto the bottom. Right. That should be more than enough fuel to get us into space. But I do want to first add an SAS module, which will keep the ship nice and straight on its way up. Next is a booster. Um, this, we have a, quite a few options for the smaller ships, but as this just needs to go straight up, we're not too worried about fuel efficiency, so we won't be going for an atomic, ro an atomic rocket. But instead, liquid fuel engine. Plonk, right there, just like that. That's our rocket. And that should be more than sufficient in, in getting us up, in, up into space, and hopefully nice and high so we get a nice view and send the information back to Kerbal HQ where they can say, right, he did it, he's in space, we're pros. So we'll save our first rocket, and I think we'll give this a go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is a very simple mission. I don't think we should be having any casualties here, and we will be sending our first Kerbal into space by the name of Jebediah Kerman. Very fitting, because he is one of my favourite Kerbals. I trust him the most. Let's see what he's got to see. Not much. It's not very advanced. Shit's gonna go down. Hopefully he doesn't die. Let's turn on SAS and hope that he survives. <laughs> Everyone's hoping that you do this very well, Mr. Kerbin. Oh, sorry, Mr. Jebediah. So, 
Mission away in three, two, one. Lift off. And that's going up nice and straight. That's what we wanted. Awesome job. What's it like inside? Can't see much. He just has to hope that we've got, no, got, got him where he needs to be. The SAS module is keeping it dead straight. So hopefully we'll be able to come back down to Kerbin pretty much exactly where we've lifted off from. So if we look here at the map on... Yeah, it's definitely not as straight as I would like. So I might actually have to try and counteract that a little bit by adding in a maneuver node. Like so. Right. Okay, so we're going to turn just a little bit to there. Oop, not too much. And this should straighten out our orbit again. Alright, cool. And back up again. Woohoo! Full power. Oh yeah. Now that's nice. Alright, let's slow that down again. Because we are out of fuel. And it looks like we're going to be dropping down somewhere in the ocean. Which is pretty much what we wanted to do. But ho wish we could have been a little bit closer. But, ah well. You can't have everything go about your way. But what we can do is, before losing the gas tank, we can use the separation force at about this point here. Oh, right, we want to focus back on our ship. Thank you very much. Hey, focus on here. What are you doing? I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> Shit, I need to get back to this ship here. Why is this going? I don't understand why I'm focused in on Kerbin. Excuse me. Excuse me. Whatever. Okay, we're stuck on this view. Right. Well, Jebediah, congratulations, you're the very first person in space. Now, do we attempt to bring you out of your module? Oh, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we? I really don't think so. I think we're just going to leave this to go up into space and plonk back down again. And um, for that, we might need to speed up because this will take a while, so let's, let's speed it up. Yep, speed up. Our orbit is just about to reach the apoapsis. There it is. And back we go. So now we're on our way back. The map actually wasn't correct. Our orbit is changing because I did do that boost. So it looks like we're going to end up a little bit further away than I would have planned. So what I'm going to do is slow down the time warp. And I'm going to aim it. Now a little bit closer. Oh, crap. Getting a bit confused here. Let's activate that again. That's it. This way. Right. So there's there's our target. Let's try and uh, let go of this and get a little bit of movement. That should bring us nice and close. And we don't really want to have that with us as we re-enter. We want to leave that to re-enter by itself. Okay, so we're lining up for re-entry now. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit messy, but it should be all right. This is going to slam down next to us, which will be quite cool. Jebediah is just going to hold on for dear life. He's pretty happy. He's not worried, even though he's about plummeting toward the Earth at a ridiculous speed. So here's re-entry. Nice and brief re-entry there. Not far away. Probably won't be at too long before the rescue crew gets over here to pick him up. And that is going to slam into the ground with absolutely no parachute. So he can be glad that he's not going to have a similar fate. What's the ground view? Oh, he's... Falling very straight. Very straight. We won't activate the parachute until at least a thousand meters high because we don't really want to be floating forever. And it shouldn't take too long for the parachute to activate. So we're slowing down as the terminal velocity has sort of been reached now. That's why we're losing speed. And that's about to go wham into the ground. <laughs> okay, parachute. Successful parachute deployment, all is well, and Jebediah has a good old smile on his face because, yes, he is the first person in space. So I'd say that's a pretty successful first mission. Once he gets safely under the ground, everyone at Houston will be popping open some champagne for the first successful mission. No hiccups whatsoever, other than the fact that it's a little bit further away than was planned. I don't know where base is, but look at this. Falling down nice and gently. Let's speed it up a bit. 
650, 600, and here it comes the ground. Bang! Oof! That's a pretty heavy impact. Let's jump him out, stretch his legs. Oh, no, you meant to jump out. <laughs> You've been in there too long. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Smile on the face. Get that smile out. There you go, there he is. First man in space. First man not to die in space as well. <laughs> and falling over. Alright, so we're going to leave Jebediah here to wait for his rescue crew to get here. We're going to end the flight. Um, actually, I don't, I don't know how to end flight. There used to be an end flight option, but I don't even know how to do that anymore. So, um, Oh, that's right, we have to go space center. Actually, first we have to go put him back in his pod. Like that. And then we go to space center. Ah, oh, ship's throttled up. That's K. Okay. That's fine. Only had a little bit of a blip on there. Right, revert to the space center. And there we've done it. Mission 01 successful. And next episode we will attempt the next mission, which is a much more intense version of what we just did. We're going to try and reach a circular orbit over Kerbin. So let's just go to the space, space center here. And there he is. Landed at Kerbin. And now we can salvage the ship. Boom! There you go, mission successful. Thank you for watching Kerbal of Space Program Episode 1. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a like, comment, and all the other good jazz, because pilot episodes needed a good response and feedback so that we can know, oh, they want some more of that and we can keep doing it. And I really love this game, so I'd love to go and do the rest of these missions with you. So if you would, please give it a like.